one. Hello children, it's a lovely sunny day so I thought I'd sit in the shade and read you one of my favourite stories. The day Louis got eaten. Louis and his big sister Sarah were out in the woods one day when unfortunately Louis was eaten up by a gulper. Sarah didn't panic. She knew that gulpers usually swallow their food down whole and that if she was quick, there might be a way to get Louis back out. Stopping only to collect something she thought she might need, she set off after the gulper in hot pursuit. She had almost caught up with it when, unfortunately, the gulper was eaten up by a grabula. Grab! Gurgle, gobble. Sarah followed the grabula to its nest. She had almost caught up with it when, unfortunately, it was eaten up by an undersnatch. Snatch. Sarah chased after the undersnatch and had almost caught up with it when, unfortunately, it was eaten up by a spiny backed guzzler. Splosh, flip, guzzle. Sarah had almost caught up with a spiny backed guzzler when, unfortunately, it was eaten up by a sabre toothed yumper. Yump. Sarah chased after the sabre toothed yumper and, fortunately, managed to track it up to its lair without it being eaten up by anything. She waited until it was asleep. Then she crept up to its open mouth. She crawled into its stomach. Then she clambered into the spiny backed guzzler. Then into the undersnatch. Then into the grabula. And finally into the gulper. where she found Louis. There you are, he said. I knew you'd come. How are we going to get out of here? We're going to use this hiccup frog, said Sarah, which I picked up before chasing after the gulper. Watch this. The hiccup frog boinged all around the gulper's stomach, which made the gulper start to wriggle. This made the grabula wriggle which set off the undersnatch, and then the spiny-backed guzzler, and then the sabre-toothed yumper. Until, in one great chain of hiccups and burps, Louis and Sarah and the hiccup frog were free. Unfortunately, all of the creatures were now extremely hungry. They gathered around Sarah, licking their lips. Get away from my sister, shouted Louis, or I'll eat you up. The creatures fled. Thanks, Louis, said Sarah. Come on, it's time to go home. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I do. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.